What's up, everybody? This is D, and you're probably like, yo, what's up? This ain't a fish tank. I don't see no fish, but this is me shooting from on top of my ladder as I put my solar panels in. Yes, I found the solar panels. I'm stupid. You never know. I would have been looking all over the place for these solar panels. Uh, my three panels are in place. They're back on their little trellis. I have to do some trimming so that this grapevine doesn't uh, block their light, which I'm going to do. That's easily done right there. I'll move these leaves, kind of hide the trellis. But actually, I'm going to cut that piece because this grapevine don't want to attach to anything that it can attach to. So let's just stop that in its tracks. But I found the panels. And where were they? They were in a fish tank. You wouldn't believe I found them in a fish tank back here. They were just sitting in there and I know why I put them in there so that I wouldn't leave them out in the snow. But it would be the last place that I would look for them. First of all, this is the last place I would look for fish tanks underneath my bush. <laughs> but anyway, I got the panels, I'm running the wiring. As you can hear, they're doing what they're supposed to do and that's circulating the water. The fish have been in here for about a week already with nothing but uh, I got my main fountain blowing really nicely i'll probably move this one to the center this line is kind of short and i don't want it spraying water all over the place so i'll put this one over here and move this one over there these guys are pretty good they're pretty efficient i've had them for a few years now and they definitely do their job man they circulate the water they keep it from going stagnant and that's all you can ask for them to do. So I got two of them running. I got another one that's going to be like my little filter, more or less. But I'm playing with the wire management right now. So I just wanted you guys to see that. Yeah, easily enough, you can keep these uh, ponds self-sufficient without running power. I've never run power to my ponds. Of course, with these moving, it's going to be harder to see the fish as if it wasn't hard to see them already. The paradise fish are in there. I have some white, uh, rather gold Daniels, some albino gold Daniels in here. They just shoot out. <laughs> you would think they'd come out and chill. No, of course, I got fish in there that I thought I would see and I don't see them. So memo to me, uh, bright does not mean that you're going to see them. So anyway, this wire is kind of short, so I'm not sure where the final resting place is going to be for these. But when I close the lid, I got to have enough line to uh, have it where I want. So I guess I'll put this back here for now and move this one back where it was, which is right there. And it basically just keeps that water circulating out the bottom, up the top create some water movement you don't have stagnant water of course the fish do live on any of the uh, larvae that come in there they definitely love them like any mosquito larvae they will eat real quick and another reason i have mesh screens so anything in the pond isn't going to be jumping out of the pond and vice versa so just wanted to give you guys a quick update i got another update coming um i'm working on this diy filter box that i used one of the ponds uh, pond pumps to do of course my chain sword is wrapping around it. look at all the runners from this chain sword when you get a natural light into these things they take off a week and it's got runners going this way that way all over the place penny warts growing I got it floating on the foam another week or two this will be completely covered in penny wart I have my branches in here also penny wart I got a lot of duckweed I don't know I guess duckweed must have been in the tank somewhere i'm glad i got it out the tank and out here no problem natural filtration natural food source natural hiding places i got my overflow here so that if it rains this fills up to capacity and anything over the little intake here will go and run off into my grapevine area or i may run a hose and run it to the hydrangea hydrangea likes a lot of water there but just a quick update, and uh, I got growth on this rock. Let me just slow this down. I got growth. Hopefully you can see it. Uh oh, there's a mosquito on me. Uh, hopefully you can see it, but I got plant growth on the rocks. I don't even know what that is. I didn't plant it there. It's not algae, but really nice, really nice, man. Let me tilt this the other way. How these things pump up. But yeah, hopefully you can see that. A lot of growth coming up around this round rock is awesome. I love it. 
So that's it. This is D. I'm going in because it's blazing hot. For all of you dads out there, I hope you have a happy Father's Day tomorrow. Hope you get that special thing on your fish list. <laughs> if not, ain't my fault. And I'm going to go inside and chill. Temperature is just right. Nice out here. Nice and cool. Not too cold. Not too hot. And of course, I'll give you another update on the greenhouse coming soon. So click subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, give me the thumbs up. If you're going to give me a thumbs down, let me know why you get a thumbs down. Not like it really matters, but some people just like blindly giving people thumbs down. Don't ask me why. Whatever floats their boat. All right. So I'm out. It's hot. See ya. Leave your questions below. It's blazing. I'm out. Love, peace, and hair grease.